Right, okay, so today I'm filming my November favourites and I am in my mum's room, so I do apologise if the scenery is different. Can't leave. Thank you. So yeah, I'm in my mum's room, so, because I couldn't be bothered to put my lights up, so I'm just sat in front of the window. But today is my November favourites. This is basically the video where I talk about all my favourites throughout the month. I've done this every single month since January, and I'm just going to tell you about all my favourites. So the first category is makeup, and I've got a few bits, sorry, I've put everything in a Primark bag. A few bits to share with you. The first one is this foundation from Primark. This is the Makeup Gallery, Makeup Gallery Gorgeous. It's the Makeup Gallery Long Lasting Foundation. And basically this is a pound. You know, if you buy it from Poundland, it's gonna be a pound, let's be real. I really, really like this. I picked it up because I forgot to take my foundation to Tom's, my boyfriend's um, flat. So I needed a foundation emergency because we were going to a club. Um, pick this one up for a pound and it's actually really really good. I wore this yesterday and it has good coverage. It does feel quite a little bit like a moisturiser. You know, I think if you've got good skin, my skin's a lot better than it has been before because I used to have acne, but if you've got good skin then this is a good one to go for um, because, you know, it, it just, the formula is fine, you know, it doesn't go weird or anything like that and for a pound it's really really good so I think in terms of the price and the product that you get it is good but as an everyday foundation if you want something reliable probably not this one but it is still quite good. I then whilst I was there also picked up a mascara this is the makeup gallery turn up the volume mascara and it's quite lengthening which is what I like it's hard to show you the applicator um, it doesn't distribute that much product onto your lashes you have to kind of build it up but I've got a system going with my eyelashes now I know crazy and it does work really really well it's only a pound and my I, I can build up my eyelashes to look really really good so I think if you can make your eyelashes look really really good with a one pound mascara why would you not do it? I think it's more lengthening than volumising, but you can build it up and layer it up to make it volumise. I then thought I'd mention the Naked Heat palette. I know I've talked about this in several different videos, but I wanted to include this because I've been using this palette particularly a lot this month. What I like to do with this palette is, if you mix all the shades together, because you know like when you get an eyeshadow palette, you can kind of do a bit of this in the crease, then go a little bit of that, you know as a transition shade etc you know you can just mix them up you end up with the same eye look every single time no matter which ones you kind of mix together so what I like to do is each day I will wear a different color so I'll just wear one shade on my eyelid each day and I just work my way along here like this so it will last me like I don't know it will last me 12 days because I'll wear a different eyeshadow on each day. I tend to stick to the matte ones rather than the shimmery ones. The matte ones to me are the ones that I really, really like. Um, but the shimmery ones are really, really highly pigmented. So I've been wearing this a lot. I am going to do a makeup look using this palette and how I use one eyeshadow. Because although you use one eyeshadow, you can still add definition um, in the crease of your eyelid. You can do winged liner, anything like that. So I've been loving this and... Um, yeah, it's been a staple this month. Also, just thought I'd want to mention this. It's a lip crayon from Beauty Big Bang. I did a video with them. They sent this to me for free. And this is honestly probably the most staple lipstick I've got. I reach for this almost every day. It's so quick. It's like a crayon like this. And it's on my lips right now. You literally just slap it on your lips roughly and then blend it out with your finger. So this is what it looks like on me. Um, so yeah, it's really really quick really really easy just kind of an on-the-go type thing It's not it is a matte lipstick, but it's not overly matte like it's not kind of liquid lipstick matte or anything like that It's just a nice gentle comfortable lipstick to wear so that is it for my makeup I don't have any skincare this month. Just don't you know not gonna make it up or anything fashion favorites um, I wanted to mention something that I mentioned in my favorites I think two months ago and it's this jacket here. I just have to include this because I've literally been wearing it every single day. I'm gonna call this a coat because although it's kind of like a jacket type thing, to me this is like a coat um, because I just wear it as one. It's just so comfy, so cozy. It's from New Look, it was 30 pounds. Well worth the money because I wear it every single day. Like honestly, this is my favorite 
item I probably ever bought because it's just such a throw on piece that I just absolutely love like I won't ever get bored of this so yeah favourite fashion piece um, I also just wanted to show some trainers I bought well my mum bought me from Primark the other day just these plain trainers like this I just needed some new ones and I thought I'd just show you them um, and what they look like um, just because my other ones kind of died sadly um, RIP food favourite I've been eating a lot of packet pastas so um, you will find these in Tesco's, Morrison's, Waitrose, the co-op, anywhere, like these are anywhere. And I would recommend going to Morrison's because they sell these two for a pound, so that's 50p each packet. Go to anywhere else, like the co-op, it's like pound sixty or something for a pack of these. And it's just ridiculous. Head down to Morrison's. Yeah, because I've been staying at Tom's and he doesn't really cook, it means that these are just really nice, quick, simple, easy things to kind of do and just you know i love pasta it's my favorite thing ever so yeah this one is smoky cheese and pancetta flavor so yeah love these i'm gonna have that tonight and that's it for food event favorites so i've got my list sort of down there events favorites me and tom my boyfriend have been going to weatherspoons a lot and i literally love going to weatherspoons just because it's nice sorry it's nice it's relaxing and I love the food. I tend to go for a barbecue chicken pizza. We also go to Tower Bar, which is in, within the uni. I go to Lincoln University and so does he, and we tend to go there quite a lot, either just for a drink or for a panini, something like that, and it's really nice in there and the prices are quite decent. Um, sometimes we, in the evenings, go to the Swan. So there's a lot of places that we've been going to, um, but sometimes we go to the Swan, which is basically um, like a little kind of pub bar type thing and we sit outside on the balcony and we just sort of watch over the Brayford which is like a, a river and we just watch over it watch everyone go just people watch and have like a nice little drink um in an evening and I also and we also went to Daisy Maid he came with my family we went to Daisy Maid which is a place where there's lots of animals there's also um, as in like guinea pigs, rabbits, goats, things like that. There's also ice cream that they sell and crazy golf. And obviously Tom is into golf quite a lot. So we expected him, you know, to show his golfing skills. But sadly they didn't pull through. We all got a fairly similar score, but my brother did actually win. So yeah, we all, we all did fairly similar scores. So yeah. Um, that was fun. So they're my events favourites. Now I've got some YouTuber favourites and I just wanted to talk through some of them. Um, Stephanie Toms is one of them. I'll link all these down the, below by the way just if you want to go and subscribe. She basically makes makeup videos so you know like testing out new products, um, full face of first impressions, um, just makeup tutorials in general like it's all very makeup based but I really like her personality and I also really like the fact that she's very um, you know very straight to the point like you can tell that that's her personality in the camera like she's not putting anything on or she's not trying to be happy or whatever she's just being herself also really like jack makes videos um i'll link him as well down below and basically he makes videos that are just quite funny like he is a very funny guy like he should be a like a proper comedian because he's so funny i love his videos if i'm you know eating my lunch or something i like to watch his videos just to keep me entertained so yeah definitely him lucy wood is another one now i subscribed to her channel a couple of years ago her channel was like at 40,000 subscribers for ages she really did struggle to kind of get her subscriber count up and she was struggling for money because she only had you know her youtube and she is a journalist so she was struggling for money and i always felt sorry for her because you know i wanted her to get some more views some more subscribers and then she posted a video called how to survive summer when you're a bit fat and that video literally blew up and her channel blew up and basically her videos are about if you're a size well obviously anybody can watch it because like, i watch it and i'm not the size that she is but if you're a size 14 like she is um she does videos on get ready with me's she does clothing videos um 
just loads of nice chatty videos she's quite funny very naturally funny and she has a really nice personality and you can just tell that she's genuine so that's why I you know stayed subscribed to her and I'm really happy she's on like 150 um, thousand subscribers now and then finally Jacqueline Hill I think everybody probably should know who Jacqueline Hill is if you're into makeup she's just a beauty guru and she's American she speaks very very fast but I do really really like her videos and I like her makeup uh, obviously you know she's very famous for her makeup skills and I really want to buy the Jacqueline X Morphe eyeshadow palette because it just looks so good so I might have to so I'll link all those youtubers down below and then to finish off we're going to finish off with TV favourites and I think we've all got to you know realise that I'm a celebrity is 100% a favourite it's on every single day for three weeks if you don't know um, I'm sure everybody knows what I'm a celebrity is if you don't just research it but I literally love it like every single year I get really excited it's probably my favourite programme ever and it's one of those things that you can just sit down every night watch it like me and Tom and his flatmates watch it together most nights you know in front of the TV and it's just a nice little community time my hamster Dean likes to watch it as well so yeah I'm a celebrity 100% um, also Waterloo Road, um, I know that this has been, you know, a thing for years and years and years and it's, you know, been a series that have gone on for years but I only really heard about it sort of last year and I only started watching it um, like a month ago so Tom got me into it and we've started from the beginning and we're working our way through the episodes. Don't know why I've never watched an episode, never watched an episode in my life and I actually really, really like it so wanted to talk about that and wanted to mention that so that is basically my november favorites i literally love just talking through my favorites of the month so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up remember to subscribe because you know join this channel join my videos and i'll see you in my next video goodbye and i'm sorry if the lighting's been a bit bright in this video and it might not have been in focus but what can you do what can you do